Okay, so let's talk about this Bantu knot hairstyle. Um, so this is what you're going to have when you first finish um, your Bantu knot according to what I have written in the pattern. So this is what it looks like. But of course, we want to... I mean, this is fine. This could definitely be a Bantu knot that you could attach. As you can see, I do leave a tail when I first start, and I do leave a tail at the end. And so I'll show you how I use those. Like I use this tail, this tail at the end to sew it on, and I use this tail to kind of shape it and kind of hold it in place. Um, so for me, what I do is I take it and I am going to bring this down a little bit. So I'm taking it and I'm kind of just opening it up and laying each layer right on top of the other layer. And if you are wondering like, well, how did you make that? Where did you get the instructions for that? The Bantu knot is in my new uh, doll pattern, the fall doll pattern 2021 fall doll crochet. <laughs> yeah, that pattern. Um, normally I do a fall doll crochet along, um, but this year I did not have the opportunity to do it. Just time just kind of got away from me. And so it, it just didn't work out where I was going to be able to actually do the crochet along, but I was like, but I will still release the fall doll pattern. And this particular hairstyle for this pattern, she does have Bantu knots. Um, so I can show you what they look like. Cause actually we are going to sew the Bantu knots on. So this is what the Bantu knots look like actually attached to the doll's wig cap. And I just think they turned out so, so cute. But back to what I do for the Bantu knot itself. So we have it, like I said, um, this is like, I just finished making it according to the instructions. And now I am going to take uh, I just have a regular darning needle. Um, you can definitely use like a curved mattress needle if you have one. Um, but basically, I'm going to take the the beginning uh, tail from where I first started. And like I said, I use that tail to kind of sew this in place. If you didn't leave a tail, that's fine. You can definitely just take your yarn the same color yarn and do this. It doesn't have to be a tail. I just find it easier if I just leave the tail. And so what I'm gonna do is, I am then going to take this and I am now just gonna kinda come up through to the top of it. And like I said, I'm just using that tail to kinda hold it in place. I don't wanna sew it completely down because I do still want this to have some a little bit of movement, a little bit of springiness to it. So I'm not gonna sew it completely down, but I am just gonna make a couple of passes back and forth to kinda of just hold it, like I said, just hold it in place just a little bit so that it's not so narrow and I can kinda of shape it to my liking. And that's the cool thing about this hairstyle is that you can definitely shape things to your liking. You can make the Bantu knots bigger or smaller. You can use um, a bigger hook than what I recommend in the pattern. Um, you can change the stitch count how I have it in the pattern. Like if you want it to be bigger, you would just chain more at the beginning um, than what I have listed in the pattern. And it will make a bigger Bantu knot if you want a smaller one. Um, again, so you're just going to change what is initially listed there in the pattern. So I think I passed what four times to, yeah, I think I passed like four times. And so now this is the shape of my Bantu knot now that I have kind of sewn it together a little bit. So this is one that's not sewn together. And as you can see, like it can completely come apart. And then the one that's sewn together, it still has some movement, but it can't come completely apart like this one or, you know, spring completely loose like that one. And then to attach it to the doll's head, like I said, I'm going to use the tail that I left when I finished the round or when I finished that first row however you're counting it, and I will show you how I sew it to 
the doll's wig cap. Just let me raise my camera up here a little bit so that you guys can be able to see it. So this is the doll. And like I said, she has, most of them are already attached. Um, I did leave an empty space back here in the back that needs to be attached. Um, so this one is gonna go like right here. Yeah, like right here. And so what I'm gonna do again, using my darning needle, again, if you have a curved mattress needle, that will probably work better. My darning needle was just closer to me. Hey, babe. So for those of you who don't know, I also have a four month old son and he's sitting here so quietly, just listening to mama. <laughs> Do you like mama's voice? Do mama sound good on this video? Say yes, girl. <laughs> no, he's sitting over there just watching me um, so quietly and being such a good boy and I appreciate it. Now, if he gets to hollering, like I said, he is four months old and we may pause or delete that out the video or I may leave it because boo, this is my life right now. Say, this is your life, girl. Okay, so once I figure out like exactly where I want this placed, then make sure I'm still in camera, then I'm gonna come here and what I'm gonna do is, I am just gonna sew this on right around that last uh, round, the round that's closest to the wig cap. I'm using that as my guide for how I'm sewing this onto her head. So what I'm gonna do, and I, it's, I don't do anything really special as far as sewing it on. I'm gonna insert my needle, and again, a curved mattress needle would definitely work better for this, but I'm gonna insert my needle into that last, that round that's closest to the wig cap and into the wig cap, and I'm just gonna pull that up, and then I'm just gonna continue that all the way around so and like i said just using that last round as a guide i'm just gonna insert it into one of the stitches there and then one of the stitches in the wig cap and try not to bust through any stitches if you're familiar with mktu you know that we don't bust through stitches but um just keep going around and it's a little bit harder now that I have pretty much all of them on but that's how I get them attached the only reason I'm not like trying to sew all of this again is because I do like the movement that's created from that and so I don't want to take away that movement so I just want them secure to the wig cap but not necessarily take like sewing them completely down where they don't have any movement at all and like I said I'm just gonna do that all the way around when I get back to where I started I'm just gonna weave in some of this yarn on the end and there you have it folks my version of Bantu knots so my pretty brown doll band two knots. I'm sure there are other ways that you can accomplish this. This is my way. And after I just weave that in, we will, I still haven't weaved in all the things from her wig cap. But after I have that weaved in, then as you can see here, she just has her band two knot hairstyle and I'll insert a better picture of it so that you guys can see it fully. And then I'll clean this up with some tweezers, get rid of uh, some of the stuff in that's coming out where I sewed on the wig cap initially. But yeah, super, super cute. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. I'll also leave a link to the pattern if you're interested in getting this pattern. It is available on my Etsy shop and on myprettybrowndoll.com. So I will leave a link to the pattern if you're interested in purchasing it and seeing exactly how I created not only the Bantu hairstyle, but the doll as well.